Hello everybody from Plant Reviews UK. Today is the 18th of June and in this video I'm talking about uh, one plant that is uh, quite famous and uh, it has been famous uh, for uh, the reason or fragrance uh, since centuries and this is uh, Reseda odorata. Uh, I have a variety called uh, Grandiflora. I bought from uh, Chiltern Seeds, and uh, um, a couple of years ago I had a variety called Ameliorata. And uh, um, to be honest, I think that uh, they are quite similar. Uh, I remember the Ameliorata was actually. Uh, a bit bigger was uh, probably about uh, 60 70 centimeters this one is about 30 40 centimeters uh, this uh, uh, grandiflora but uh, honestly grandiflora in latin means uh, big flowers but the flowers really uh, in this variety uh, as far as i remember are about the same size of uh, the uh, variety uh, called uh, ameliorata unfortunately back then i didn't have a youtube channel so i didn't uh, make a video about the um, Ameliorata, however, um, as far as I remember, uh, these are very similar, just the Ameliorata is a bit uh, taller. Uh, Reseda odorata is a, a species in um, the genus Reseda and in the family Resedase. Uh, there's a few species in this family, uh, but um, and the um, closest relatives other than obviously uh, other members of the genus Reseda, uh, as far as I have read, are uh, the uh, other families in the uh, order uh, Brassicales uh, that includes the families, uh, um, the family, the cabbage family, the Brassicase, and also the Nasturtium family, uh, the Tropiolase, and uh, indeed Resedase, Tropiolase and Brassicase all belong to the order Brassicales. Uh, this species can grow actually up to 80 cm tall, this variety is evidently a little bit uh, smaller, uh, so usually anyway these the varieties uh, that are grown uh, in cultivation uh, uh, are between one and uh, two foot and a half if you like uh, English measures, so between 30 and uh, 70 centimeters tall, 80 centimeters will be really uh, uh, the top they can grow. Uh, not much is known about uh, the uh, native distribution about, uh, of this plant because it's been cultivated uh, for so long that actually um, as uh, many populations growing wild or feral so to say worldwide. Uh, however it seems that uh, the plant is native to uh, the Mediterranean area. Uh, the plant is uh, an uh, annual plant, is an annual species and uh, as I said the start of the video has been cultivated in the um, isonamelta plants uh, for centuries, uh, mainly for its fragrant flowers because as you can see this plant really looks like a weed and the flowers themselves really are don't are not that uh, appealing for uh, intensity of colors or i don't know flower size but they look uh, like uh, almost a bottle brush i would say uh, the um, plant was grown as i said mainly for the fragrance and actually the flowers were used for making essential oils um, so not only to smell the fragrance but also to make uh, uh, perfumes so in the perfume industry with essential oils uh, the flowers as you can see are several uh, on each stem uh, the flowers are arranged in a flower spike called racine with several flowers per stem uh, the flowers open from the bottom to the top so you can see some seed pods developing then some open uh, flowers and then some buds at the top uh, each plant actually produces quite a few uh, stems and of flowers so uh, it uh, is a, a pretty generous uh, plant uh, about blooming uh, the, 
flowers are very small. Uh, each of them is uh, probably about uh, uh, one centimeter across and uh, they uh, are like uh, greenish or whitish or yellowish in my variety the, uh, they are basically mostly greenish whitish and they show these uh, uh, salmon orange uh, anthers. Uh, the plant is uh, beloved by uh, pollinators uh, as well uh, so it is actually a pretty good plant if you want to attract uh, insect pollinators uh, in your uh, garden. The um, stamens are uh, dangling downwards as you can see and uh, um, probably this, uh, this is the only really uh, um, uh, color that you would notice against the white and the green uh, of the uh, rest of the flowers and the green basically of the rest of the plant. Uh, the leaves are ovoid in shape and uh, in my opinion are not particularly uh, ornamental. Um, uh, it is an annual and uh, again there are several varieties. I have uh, uh, this one is the Grandiflora, I cultivated the Meloriata, I know there is another variety called Manchette and uh, the thing is that uh, this uh, amazing fragrance about which uh, the species is known about, uh, to be honest I have no idea where it comes from because both the Ameliorata variety, there was supposed to be an even more fragrant uh, variety of or not really very fragrant species and also this uh, Grandiflora that is supposed to have big flowers to me, don't smell almost at all. Um, the fragrance is really really liked. I really can barely detect it even when I put the nose uh, next to the flower. Is uh, um, It is sweet, so actually uh, it is very pleasant, uh, but the problem is really to uh, to be able to smell it. Uh, this plant, honestly, you really, really, really uh, need to almost uh, t t put the flower in your nose. Uh, luckily they're so small to get the fragrance. I did a, done a, a bit of research because possibly I found maybe I was not cultivating this plant properly and uh, however I found on uh, um, some forums uh, many people that have problems in actually smelling this uh, beautiful, this supposed to be extremely fragrant uh, plant. Um, a gardener said that uh, the fragrance can, when uh, the plant first bloomed in summer uh, could not detect much fragrance uh, but then the plant continued blooming until uh, basically autumn and in autumn actually the fragrance was a lot stronger uh, in this forum another government said possibly the reason was because in summer uh, the essential oil of the plants are very volatile the essential oil that uh, constitute the scent so they can they can uh, basically uh, disappear because they are carried away by uh, the hot air uh, and the reason being that in October or in uh, November the uh, climate is a lot cooler so the essential oils that uh, basically uh, make the fragrance of the flower uh, remain close to the flower so it is uh, more scented. The thing is uh, that usually for uh, scented and fragrant flower is the other way around. Uh, usually hot, humid air uh, makes the volatile oils spread a lot better from the flower. And it is true, if it's very windy, the fragrance can disappear. So it's mm, is, uh, better to keep them fragrant plants uh, in a protected area to enjoy the scent uh, at the most. However, today uh, really is uh, not that hot. You can see it's June but uh, the sun, I mean, it is quite overcast, uh, the sky. Uh, I am in a jumper myself in it's June and uh, even with this, uh, honestly, I really, really can barely detect 
I can barely detect uh, this scent from um, this plant and uh, I am very uh, sorry to say however other gardeners like me said uh, wrote that uh, uh, really they uh, some of them could not detect any fragrance at all uh, I am pretty lucky from this point of view because at least I still can detect a little bit of fragrance and even the fragrance was very similar between this one the Grandiflora and the Ameliorata I found there is another variety manchette that uh, is supposed to be also very fragrant but again I've never cultivated it even the Ameliorata and the Grandiflora are supposed to be very fragrant so I really can't recommend uh, any of them I didn't try the manchette or manche and uh, I tried the Grandiflora and the Ameliorata and uh, they both were a bit uh, disappointing so unless uh, in the next few months uh, uh, the scent of this uh, Reseda changes uh, and uh, I will give you an update in case I forget obviously please write it in the comment to give you an update I will try to smell it uh, as often as possible in the next few months uh, I really don't uh, feel uh, to recommend this plant for a fragrant garden. Uh, another option is to bring uh, the cut flowers uh, at home. Um, I found that uh, um, if uh, the flowers are put in a vase with water, it can actually be fragrance for a few weeks, uh, even when the uh, flowers uh, fade. It seems that uh, the fragrance uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, stays uh, on the flower spikes for a while but again I never tried so I'm just uh, telling you what I have uh, read uh, on uh, the sources I uh, consulted in, in internet uh, about uh, the uh, cultivation, uh, this is a plant that comes from the Mediterranean area, so would be USDA zone 8 and 9, but actually can um, um, be uh, very quick to bloom. I uh, sowed the seeds uh, about three months ago and uh, uh, they bloom in about so three months and uh, as you can see the plant is already in full bloom uh, it's not just started blooming I have already some seed pods developing as I showed you so really I think even in uh, colder USDA zones uh, uh, the plant can uh, do uh, very well uh, I found that uh, it is cultivated indeed uh, from USDA 5 and up however remember it's not a winter hardy plant because this plant anyway dies uh, uh, during winter it is an annual uh, so if you want to keep this plant for the next years you just need to collect the seeds and sow them uh, it is quite sensitive to transplant that's another uh, characteristic I read so uh, better to be sown directly where it is supposed to flower in my case I put it in a pot because I really uh, didn't want it to uh, be overgrown by weeds and actually this plant also look a bit like a weed and uh, I didn't want to risk to pull it out uh, confusing it for some weeds so I uh, definitely uh, recommend if you saw this plant uh, outdoors in the garden uh, don't pull uh, um, plants that uh, look like weeds unless uh, you are very sure that they are weeds uh, when they are in bloom because you actually might end up pulling out the uh, Reseda uh, odorata uh, the um, plant other than that is uh, pretty easy to grow I am keeping it in normal soil I found that uh, prefers uh, neutral to alkaline soil but really I just uh, put it in normal garden soil I'm not too sure about the pH I, I found that this plant is really easy to grow and I have to say it's definitely one of the easiest plant I've ever grown uh, in uh, my uh, experience uh, of gardening uh, so I cultivate it in uh, full sun this one was cultivated in full sun in my allotment and I cultivated in partial shade instead the variety Ameliorata a few years ago and again they grew both very well 
and uh, they smell about the same so really I don't think that even exposure between partial shade or full sun affects the uh, scent uh, usually fragrant plants tend to smell better in full sun by the way but uh, again in this plant I don't know why uh, I didn't find uh, any difference between partial shaded culti plants the ameliorata cultivated in partial shade and this one the grandi flora cultivated in uh, full uh, sun uh, so yes this is my review about uh, the reseda odorata so even the if the latin epithet uh, odorata means uh, scented uh, unfortunately in my opinion uh, is not very scented this plant it is uh, the flower spikes are uh, I would say quite unusual but really <laughs> the uh, appearance uh, of the flowers is uh, not uh, what uh, the uh, plant uh, is famous for the plant is famous for the fragrance uh, uh, but <laughs> hopefully uh, I wish I was uh, uh, a plant uh, a man uh, not a plant sorry <laughs> every single plant not so much um, a person that would be able to smell the fragrance because you know sometimes also uh, different people have uh, different sensitivity about fragrance is a scent but honestly reseda odorata uh, really is not a plant that at the moment I can recommend for scent in the garden uh, if you want you can basically cut a bunch uh, yeah cut the flower spikes and bring them indoors and uh, smell them indoors some people say Reseda Dorata is a bit too much, some sources said even that Reseda Dorata is a bit too intense to have uh, it indoors, but in my opinion really I, I, I struggle to understand how this plant can be even detected, um, uh, the scent in, in, in indoors, but uh, well, uh, I will try uh, next time, um, well at the moment I I would prefer to keep the seed pods developing so we'll see if uh, actually in autumn the plants smell better because obviously if I cut the flowers I can't really uh, expect seeds however plants that are uh, very scented indoors are usually at least mildly scented outdoors and you can smell the scent clearly uh, Reseda Dorata at least in uh, this um, uh, in this moment uh, in summer is really not uh, that much scented so uh, in case I change my mind of course uh, I will put a comment on this video and or I will post a new video but in the meantime uh, honestly I don't feel uh, confident to recommend uh, this plant uh, for a fragrant garden Hope that you enjoyed uh, still the video, regardless, uh, of course, uh, uh, unfortunately, the, um, my review of the fragrance of the plant uh, uh, was uh, not uh, that positive. Uh, but uh, the main reason of this channel, of course, is I give reviews, uh, uh, honest reviews about the uh, different plants uh, I grow and uh, to share my experience with you. Of course, if you have different experiences with uh, Reseda Odorata, please let me know in the comment down below and uh, I will be more than happy to discuss the topic with you. As usual, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. If you like this video, would be great if you can please give a thumbs up. And if you like this video and the other videos on my channel, would be great, of course, if you can please subscribe to support my channel. Again, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.